Society Hill um, was a deteriorated neighborhood. Uh, the Dock Street area, which was at the east end of Society Hill, closest to the river, this was the cobblestone street that uh, covered the Dock Creek, was the city's produce market. Uh, all the buildings, former residences, for the most part, have been converted to warehouses. So as you travel down Dock Street, you could buy live chickens, uh, fresh crates of oranges or whatever else was being sold for the restaurant industry in, in the city. Dock Street would open around 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, that's when most of the produce was being bought by restaurants for, the, for that day's meals. And so the activity would start around 3 a.m., continue very hot and heavy till about 8 a.m. And then after that, the mess had to be cleaned up and the street was wall to wall with uh, broken containers of one sort or another, discarded greens of one sort or another. Um, the ice from uh, the barrels full of fish and things like that were all over the place. Uh, this was not a, this was not exactly a pretty place. The other thing that was going on in Society Hill in those days was it was because of the finger piers along the Delaware River. It was a location that a lot of ships uh, visited. Uh, they came into those finger piers to load and unload and the crews would come off the ships and look for things to do. So we had the Blue Anchor Inn, which was uh, probably the lowest level of uh, bar that you could find, which was frequented for the most part by foreign sailors of various description and, uh, and a lot of people that served them, including some ladies that uh, worked the area. So Society Hill today and Society Hill then, um, Huge difference.